match. I'm not saying that if she was in this segment, I wouldn't then be complaining about her being too over the top. But considering the talent pool, she definitely Better should like be skills, in yep. this consideration. Yeah. Segment six. Oh, uh, yes. Least, the Jim Cornette promo. My least favorite, my, I have my least favorite segment. It was awful. Goldilocks with Mortimer Plumtree, who, who is an actor turned wrestler. Wait, you mean that's not Jim Cornette? No. I'm pretty sure that was Jim no, Cornette. No, it's Mortimer Plumtree. Okay. He puts himself over and introduces his tag team slash servants slash former bullies, the Johnsons. Yeah. <gasps> that's, that's Jim Cornette. You're explaining Jim Cornette right now. Did you not? Did you, you notice that, right? The Johnson. The, the thunder. The thunder. Strike? Yeah, I don't. Was that part of the music, or was that like a transitional thing? It's just it was, to go into the next scene. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, segment length: one minute and ten seconds. Uh, I thought the guy went way too long putting himself over, and not at all putting over the talent. Yeah, it was. It was a waste was of time. It was a that. waste of time. Yeah. And then also the thunder effect just made this way more comedic than it needed to be. <laughs> Like, considering the fact that there's still an element in wrestling that you have to take these guys sort of seriously, that is just like, I don't know what's going on here. It's the, the big detail during the murder mystery. It's like, it's sort of, it's like, it's almost kind of like the WWE now, where The Fiend, it's like, I want to, but he's a, like, it's a 100% cartoon. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, <laughs> it's a 100% cartoon. So, segment seven. Making their way, they don't actually announce a match. They just go right into it. Making their way to the ring, accompanied by Mortimer Plumtree, Richard and Rod Johnson, the Johnsons. Ooh. I hate it already. Because the second they're done announcing it, Tanae's like, you know, there's been a lot of internet controversy over these fellas about whether or not they belong here. And I'm just like, no, there fucking hasn't. Nobody knew they were coming here Nobody, because they yeah. weren't anything before. This was a creation for the company, yeah. was it not? Yeah. I'm almost positive. Do you know anything about the Johnsons? I mean, I know who they are, yeah. I know like, that. I'm almost positive they were originally a tag team for the NWA. They were the NWA tag team champions. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, they were the NWA tag team champions. They started TNA. Mm -hmm. They brought them in. They were going to be the tag team champions. I, I mean, I know who they are. They're the Shane twins. Yeah, they're yeah. They're the Gemini twins. Yeah, that's them. Yeah. yeah, that's them. Okay. Yeah, and they didn't either like the gimmick. They didn't like how they were being used, so they left, and they had to strip the titles off of them. So they were going to yeah. be the champions, I guess. But it would have worked if it wasn't for this dumbass gimmick. Oh, a full bodysuit of flesh tone. <sighs> yeah. I don't understand it. The segment does not help either. And next we get their opponents, the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm, and Psychosis. Storm has his low-budget pyros. His his boy howdy, I sure hope this Wild West theme park is going to last another year. Level cap guns, like... It was, it was right away. I'm pretty sure Ferraro was like, oh, I don't like this cowboy gimmick he has. And he was like, it's not a gimmick. This is how he lives. And he was like, oh, so he just walks around with a trench coat, no shirt on, pants. <laughs> and I was like, why are you burying these people? And then as, as he was explaining that, that's when he got onto the top ropes and took out the cap guns. He's like, oh my God, he's got a gun. <laughs> he started freaking out. It's, 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 very rare occasions, but times like this where I'm like, all right. <laughs> Ferraro's all right. Yeah. Ferraro's okay, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, the Johnsons, aka the Gemini twins, as you're if you're familiar with them by that name. Richard Ver and Rod. Yes. Richard and Rod. Versus WCW's, surprisingly enough at this time, yes, he was on WCW. James Storm. He was a he was a jobber. That was his claim to fame, and he was a jobber. Other otherwise unknown independent wrestler. Maybe just in the power plant. I don't know uh, where I've ever seen him. Yeah, yeah, he was a power plant guy. Probably it's probably more like NWA Wild Side, it's a real thing. Yeah, Saturday night, whatever but, they had. Whatever it was. Yes. Yeah, so, and then WCW's psychosis, duh. Everyone knows Psychosis. And if you don't know him by all his other names, Tanae will tell you. Yeah, uh, dude. Th yeah, he does. But um, <laughs> but yeah, this the whole setup and then the introductions of the Johnsons, this is the part in the pay-per-view where I was like, oh, I need a second. I got to walk away. Hang on. I got to, I'm, this is no good. You remember when the Flying Elvises were coming out and they played three different songs one after the other? Yeah. I feel like when the Johnsons were coming out, they played three different songs all at the same time. Right, yes. I, I couldn't understand yes. what I was There's listening to. There's a lot of to. issues. There's a lot of issues on this show. It was like an old timey carnival music, a dark guitar ministry and like bad Gennaro rock as well, all yeah. playing at the same time. Right. I couldn't listen. I was like, I don't know what I'm And, and that's the introduction to this. And I'm just like, what? I don't. <laughs> And then they come out, and I go, what the oh, this fuck is this? Oh, this is seeing now? <laughs> and then their opponents come out, and what do we get? Oh, the guys who are dressed like rejected Rush Hour sequels. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great match. <laughs> what is that getup psychosis is wearing? <laughs> Dude, they look like... 
they look like the the rejected like wardrobe check for Shanghai Noon or something. <laughs> like it's awful. Yo, so whatever. The match starts, and I'm already like, oh no, dude, that's not how wrestling works. Like everything's fine, but just as a, a viewer, I go, no, that's wrong. Match starts. Johnson's grab psychosis, double underhook suplex. Boom. One, two pin kick out. Two pin, first move, second the match starts. Really? Oh boy, I don't like this match already. It's suplex. It's just grabbing and suplexing. Cyclops, or whatever his name is. Cyclops couldn't stop him. That's his yeah, name now. Cyclops is, yeah, fine. Cyclops is. <laughs> the commentary puts over the John, how the Johnsons look alike and how they can switch and confuse the referee. Okay. Which, okay. 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 All right. So I have a question within kayfabe and removed from kayfabe. Oh boy, here we go. So the reasoning they put on the full body suit okay. is so they can confuse the referee, the other people, of who's in the ring and they, they look the same. Yeah, that makes sense. Go for it. Yeah. So, but under the mask, yeah. they're identical twins yeah. and they can do that anyway. Yeah. So why are they putting I, on the I suit? I don't know. And why is it skin toned? <laughs> I don't know. Don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Nothing about this makes sense. Don't worry, because it's not that important. Because 10 seconds later, we cut to Alicia in the entranceway. Thank goodness. Who Tanae mentions was the maestro's manager in WCW. <laughs> you, you just buried her by giving her that yeah. recognition. Which is, which is terrible for me, because there's a more, in my opinion, in the wrestling world, there's a more famous moniker, which is Ryan Shamrock. Ken Shamrock's fake sister thing. As soon as I saw her standing there, I was like, oh, it's Ryan Shamrock. What is she doing there? No. And then he said that. Oh, that's the oh, girl the, that was. The maestro's. Oh, he I had about that. He had. For, first off, first off, you don't even say Symphony, which is her name. Symphony. Oh, yeah. Instead, you go, oh, it's that lady that was with that guy that played the piano that came down that from the chick. roof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But never went anywhere. Which is great because I remembered her as Ryan Shamrock, which put her at a certain point in my head. And then they reminded me about that gimmick, which put her down that, in my yeah. head. I was like, oh, that's right. She did start to go downhill after a while. Thanks for reminding me. It, yeah, it is. It is amazing to me how many times they have something good and they go, but you know, it's crap, right? <laughs> it's just like, Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, this is this is another one of those times where I'm like, guys, gross. What the? F <laughs> oh, this they show be. Ryan Shamrock. And they cut away back to the match, and Farrah's like, yeah, I wish the cameraman would shoot a little lower. And they cut back to her and shoot her lower. And he's like, oh, thanks, cameraman. Thanks, cameraman. Like, We're all working together what here. What the hell? With that in mind, yeah. and every single person that would come through the entranceway, and the cameraman could not find the right person, I but Ed Farrar is just like, let me get some leg shot. Boom, I can go right immediately. back immediately. <laughs> immediately. Such a quick response for that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the Johnsons are really giving it to Storm. <laughs> Just pounding away. <laughs> Not letting up an inch. Really stretching him out. Exhausting him from every angle. Tag to psychosis. But doesn't he start with like, listen, I don't want to say things like, and he starts like saying all these and puns. Just, yeah, it's a, fa it's a false non- It's a non-starter. Yeah. It's a false uh, non-starter. Yeah. Good, because we need more dick puns in this TNA promotion. Tag Psychosis hits a drop kick, but he gets caught by the Johnson. I'm pretty sure they didn't make one TNA pun during any of the women segments. I don't think so. No. They just stared at him and did the Don West giddy. <laughs> the ref misses a spot of keeping Storm out of the ring because he's too busy doing his segment where he has to keep eyeing Alicia outside the ring and be like, get away. Go ahead. Again. Not now. Go away. Go ahead and take a guess at who's the referee. Mm -hmm. Double flapjack and, this, and the Johnsons send Psychosis flying. Ferrara says he won't mention that psychosis is being pounded by the Johnsons right now. We go back to Alicia and a fan purposefully, like, silly face photobombs the shot. Like, he was the star of that he, shot. Yeah, every single time. He was really good. <laughs> he, he, I don't know how, like, I don't know if there's a red light on the camera, but he knew every time they oh, yeah. went to him. The last time it happened, I'm pretty sure I caught him because his head was backwards. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he was staring at the, uh, oh, okay. the big Titan Tron the second that happened, he saw Ryan Shamrock, he would turn around and be like, ah, look at right. me and my tongue. So hot tag, James Storm is putting hands on Johnson's. Psychosis joins him, but the Johnson's turn it into an arm trap, suplex, and stereo. Storm gets distracted by Mortimer Plumtree, and the ref looks away way too late. Mm -hmm. And Johnson hits the TKO. Yeah, like he hits the ropes, 
Mortimer grabs his leg and he stumbles. And after he stumbles, the ref's like, ah, something in my eye over there. It's over there in my eye. Oh, was that the one? No, it's not. Never mind. I have it written down. We've all seen this before where a spot happens and the ref's standing there and he sees the spot. And then the ref goes, flies. There's flies in my eye. Oh, bees everywhere. Bees in my eyes. Johnson's hit the TKO. Johnson's win. Match length, four minutes and 51 seconds. Post-match, John, uh, the ref raises the Johnson's hands, but Plumtree knocks the ref's hands off and pushes him out of the Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. I raise their hands. Outside of the ring. Yeah, he actually tells him to go deal with her. He's like, why don't you go deal with that woman that's like Do distracting you, He you. just points, though. Does he actually say go deal with her? Or? I I kind of read his lips almost. Oh, okay. He was like, why don't you go just go do that or something? He's saying something All to right. go deal with her. So Alicia stops. This is it. Referee Slick Johnson. <laughs> who wants something from him. He tries to ignore it and like brush her off, but eventually he gives her the money. She bras it and walks away. And as she's walking away, you can just notice a like at max 10 year old boy trying to grab her ass. Oh, he went to smack it. He, he was, almost did. Ooh, he was like inches away from a crime. And I, it, he might have just missed or he might have did that weird like you stop Keanu right. Reeve hand hover where he never really yeah. puts his arm around anyone. That's where not, he went just like an inch away. He doesn't but... use it in that area though. He's not... <laughs> well, yeah, I know. It's... So, uh, what are your thoughts on this? This Any... was the Johnson's match. Unnecessary. Yeah, unnecessary. Unnecessary. It was really quick. No. It didn't get anyone over. Yeah. That really quick is is a problem I have with this because I feel like this type of a match is a type of a match that does not benefit from nonstop action. It, you need to slow it down, yeah. have more crowd work, have more, I don't know, Johnson puns, probably not. Well, I mean, they they had these men come out in morph suits, calling them the Johnsons. Right. They're a gimmick. And then they had an indie match showing off what they could do. Right. So it I was like, why no, Why the fuck no. you guys called Johnsons? No. Yeah. And then on top of that, even after that, Storm and Psychosis didn't even get over with me. Oh, they didn't get to do anything. No. Right? So at the end of that, I hate the guys who won. I hate the faces who lost. That segment did nothing for me. It was a waste. It was yep. a waste of time. Yeah. Throw two Goldilocks in the back. Goldilocks is hollered at by the Dup brothers. Stand up and bow Dup. 